It's Saturday morning once again. It's 9.30 in the morning and it's time for tomorrow's champions. The sixth edition. I'm Manny Pinol. In today's tomorrow's champions, we are going to feature another fight of Romela Seno. This time against an unknown fighter, but with an outstanding record. Jun Tasik. Previously, in the previous fights of Romela Seno, you've seen him demolish his opponents in one round, two rounds. This time around, it's going to be a different story. This fight will stretch for the whole eight rounds. And here, Aseno proves that he has the stamina to carry on long fights. Let's take a look at this fight between Rommel, the little assassin Aseno, and Jun Tassi. Ladies and gentlemen, this is another eight rounds of professional boxing with both fighters coming in at 106 pounds even. To judge this fight are Judge Mario de Ramos, Judge Elizardo Resma, and Judge Ronnie Mondejar. And to act as referee is referee Ramuel Ovalo. We introduce to you now our fighters. First, Fighting out of the blue corner, he is wearing black pants with white and red trim. He hails from Butuan City, Agusan del Norte, fighting for the Mayor Plaza stable. He has a record of eight wins, four by way of knockout, no loss and no draw. Jun Tasi. His opponent. Hail is from Pinkawayan, North Cotabato. He is fighting out of the red corner and has a fight record of 14 wins, 12 by way of knockout, two losses, and no draw. He is currently the WBO Oriental Mini Flyweight Champion, the Little Assassin Rommel. Ah, uh, Senho! Romel Lasenho making his 17th professional fight. And uh, oohs and ahs, nung narinig nung uh, crowd, yung record. 14 the, uh, wins, 12. Well, yeah, uh, 8 wins, uh, 4 knockouts. Uh, itong bata from uh, Butuan City. Pero wala si, pang talo, no? Undefeated. Wala pang talo, undefeated, oh. no? Pero yung Romel Asenho, actually, makikita mo yung uh, build ng katawan, oh. uh, Dennis. Eh. One of my favorite fighters, no? At uh, ito yung, ano, eh, ma mawiwili ka sa batang ito dahil pag-umpisa pa lang ng laban, gusto niya sa suntukan, eh. By the way, he he won his last three fights uh, by knockout. Oh, no? so he's on a roll. And of course, uh, he, he uh, won that crown, yung Jun. kanyang uh, oriental uh, title, no? Sa Osami City. Osami, so. Via a first round uh, TKO of uh, Abdul Sisi Sadiki mm -hmm. of uh, Tanzania. And uh, among the fighters, uh, Gov, itong si Asenho, nakita ko ang bilis yung kanyang uh, improvement, eh, no? Totoo, and is, this boy is only 20 years old, huh? And now he's facing someone na masyadong malikot. Magalaw. Magalaw, oh. So good, good left there by Asenho. A uh, test for him, no? Kasi usually dito sa division na to, talagang magagalaw yung mga fighters, eh, no? Oh, yes. Of course, uh, isa sa mga talagang nakita nating uh, maganda kumilos siya, mahilig kumilos, eh, uh, si Ivan Calderon, no? Yung mga ganong klaseng stilo. So good test uh, para dito kay uh, Romel Asenho, my little assassin. Ang pinaka-potent uh, weapon na actually ni Asenho yung kanyang kaliwa. No? Yung kanyang uh, left uh, overhand na nakabiktima na ng maraming uh, kalaban. Diyan bumagsak si uh, uh, Abdul Aziz Zadiki, Rocky Sardido. At yung uh, pinaka-tremendous na victory niya yung uh, Thailand na uh, inoxygen pa sa Cebu. <laughs> Si uh, Wutisak uh, Sitsui. Oh, yes. First round uh, KO, 34 seconds. And 
this early, makikita mo yung condition ng batang ito. Nung first round pa lamang, pinapahabol siya uh, ni uh, Tasig pero pinagpapawisan na agad si uh, Senho. A, a sign usually no, na nasa tamang magandang kondisyon ng isang uh, boxer. This boy has always been training very, very hard. He's serious sa kanyang boxing. boxing at, uh, alam mo itong batang ito, Dennis, pag nakapasok sa ring, uh, heaven sa kanya. Eh. Oh. He enjoys this, uh, this uh, sport. No? He loves boxing. And he's very humble uh, outside the ring. <laughs> yes. A good left there by Romel Asenho. Good round for Asenho. Good escape for Juntasik. Slow mo replay. That was a good left connected by. Asenho. See si Bruce Lirio, uh, the trainer of uh, Romel Asenho, is telling the young fighter from Picawaya, North Cotabato, ikat mo sabi niya, wag mong habulin. Cut mo yung kanyang dinadaanan. Haribasin mo ng, kaliwa, ng kanan mo para bumalik uh, sa pinanggalingan niya at uh, saka mo tirahin ang kaliwa. And first time for me to see a trainer na tinuturo niya yung pwesto sa ring. Eh. Totoo. <laughs> Nakatalikod. Uh, Pinatuturo niya kung saan siya dapat uh, gumalaw at saan niya dapat ikat. Let's see if uh, Romel Asenho... Oh yes, he's doing it right now. Kinakat niya yung uh, iniiwasan ni uh, Jun Tasik. Jun Tasik is uh, back on track. And now, medyo nahihirapan ng lumabas si uh, Tasik. Uh -huh. So Asenho obviously uh, suggested very well after that break, look at that. Inuunahan niya na yung tasik sa kanya dadaanan. No? Hindi na masyado nakakalabas. But uh, the thing is, uh, medyo may konting ingat din kay uh, Asenho. Oh, well, this is not an ordinary fighter that is fighting. Uh, eight wins, four knockouts, wala pang talo. Uh, he should be good. And missing with the right. Romel Asenho. I was waiting for the right moment to unleash that left. Mukhang natikman na rin ni Tasik yung uh, oh, lagkit ng suntok eh, no? Nung, tumama nung first round yung Asenho, actually na kaliwa. That is why he's, uh, well, uh, Asenho is forcing him to be tentative, eh, no, with his shots. Kasi alam niya na may balik agad si uh, Asenho. Yes. Good right there by Jun Tasik. Good right again by Tasik. And for a while there, si uh, Aseno lost his uh, balance. Pero bumalik agad, body shot by Aseno. Good right to the midsection. Ano one thing na napansin ko rin, Gov, dito kay Aseno, is that hindi siya nagtatapon ng mga sayang ng mga suntok. Eh. Oh, yes. And uh, ibang klase rin yung uh, kumpiyansa no nakakalabang ka ng mga quality uh, foreign fighters. And we're seeing that now, yung epekto kay Asenho. Jun Tasik showing a lot of respect for this young fighter from Pigawayan. Obviously, because this boy in red is a reigning WBO Oriental Mini Flyweight Champion. And he won the title with a quick first-round knockout over Tanzanian Sadiqi Abdulazizi. Good left. And iba na rin yung kilos ni Tasik. Oh, that was a good shot to the midsection. Connected by Asenho. Last 10 seconds. Got a good round for Asenho. Slow more replay. Yeah. 
Tumama pala ng uppercut doon si yes, uh, Tasek. Yes, Tasek. Uh, Pero makikita mo yung uh, mabilis na pag-adjust ni Asenho doon sa naging uh, pahirap na style nung una. No? Ito si uh, Tasek. Na tumatakbo. Tumatakbo. And in a single round, no, he was able to force itong si Tasek no, na makipagpalitan sa kanya and to make it a uh, close uh, fight. Asenho still pursuing the elusive uh, Jun Tasek. Body shot by Asenho. Asenho there pushing uh, Jun Tasik. They could be playing uh, mind game yung, yung ginawa ron ni ano, Asenho. No? <laughs> to force him to slug it out. Sabi niya kaya kitang tumbahin, tutulak <laughs> lang kita. Uh, maano pa kaya kung suntok nga abot sa'yo? Baka sakaling mapikon niya no? at yeah. uh, makipagpalitan sa kanya. Because Asenho is such a brave fighter. No? Talagang gusto niya bakbakan. Romel Asenho pursuing uh, Jun Tasik all over the ring. Good light right there by uh, Jun Tasik. Well, ang malaking problema rito ni Asenho is that ang mukhang ang major concern ngayon ni Tasik is how to avoid <laughs> yung mga suntok, no? Mukhang ayaw nung tumapo oh, ng suntok oh. yata, eh. No? Parang yun ang uh, so far nagiging objective niya. Good right by Romel Asenho there. Well, Tasik can't afford to stay close dito kay Asenho because alam niya, tatama, tatama si Asenho. At alam niyo malakas. That's why he's called my little assassin. He's a very accurate assassin. Good left. By Romel Asenho, snaps back the head of Jun Tasik. He only needs to be close, no? to stay close dito kay uh, Tasik. Eh, no? Tataman-tatama itong tatama, si Asenho. Tatama. Kasi he goes to the midsection, shift, uh, shifts to the head. And uh, that's, uh, oh, good left there to the midsection. Uh, good right, uh, left again to the head of Jun Tasik. Now he's scoring solid blows, Asenho. Uh, slow oh. hey, uh, the referee tape. there oh, oh. overload uh, stopping the fight momentarily sapagkat natanggal yung tape sa gloves ni uh, Jun Tasik may uh, respite para sa kanya no? because uh, siya yung takbo ng takbo rito eh it could be a strategy on the part of Jun Tasik actually. Pag-uri niya muna yung asayan, no? Oo. Oh, oh. Then maybe come back later on. The, the problem is mukhang... <laughs> dalawang question, mapapagod ba yung asayan, Iyon, no? Oo, oh, oh. At uh, makakabalik pa siya. Sabi mo nga, Vice, ito yung isa sa mga pinakamasipag mong uh, fighter pagkating oh, yes. sa pag-ensayo. But he got tagged the right. And Jun Tasik holds on to dear life. He's showing too much respect sa power ni Asenho. Here's a slow-mo. That was a left. Solid one connected by Asenot. Meron pang uh, midsection. Mid mm -hmm. So medyo yung patience sa uh, uh, gov ni Asenho na susubukan din dito. Oh yes, this, this could be a very good Juna fight for him. No? Sabi nga natin, most of the champions dito sa 105, 108, eh, ang estilo nila, uh, suntok takbo eh. Suntok takbo, totoo yan. You have the Japanese and the Thai champions, no? A good right. At makikita mo yung tumatapon ng suntok ng uh, Asen Ho. Oh, oh. Nauuga talaga yung Tasik. Eh. And I can understand why uh, ayaw magkapagsabayan ng Jun Tasik. 
well, he, he's feeling the power of uh, Asenho, no? Mapakaliwa, mapakanan. That's one, one good thing about uh, Asenho is that he's got uh, power, no? Sa parehong uh, kamay. And style-wise, oh, that was a good one. Style-wise, talagang he has improved a lot, no? It's so hard to connect against a fighter na Magalaw all night ulo. long. Eh, tumatakbo, gumagalaw yung ulo. And actually, ma maganda rin kumover si Tasik. It's just that, nasisiripan lang talaga ni Aseno. At nasisingitan ng kaliwa. Look at that. I was trying to counter punch. Romel Lasenho, his patience being tested here. And so far, he's doing good. He's been connecting some uh, quality blows for us to say na he's in command of this fight. That was a good uh, hook to the body. Yung uh, kana, no? Yung tinapo ni Romel Lasenho, yes. Oh, oh. Alam mo, minsan, pag pinapanood ko itong batang ito, hindi ako nakakomentaryo. <laughs> Excited ako sa batang ito lumaban. Eh. You, can, you, you, know, you don't know what's gonna happen oh. next. And almost all of his uh, knockout wins, hindi mo akalain na darating ng ganun. Yes. Eh. Good left by Yaseno. Now he's in the proper distance. He's able to corner Tasik. And Tasik holds on. Oh, wisely. Clinching. And to uh, gain more time to move out. And Tasik runs away again. And good thing, hindi na ubus ang pasensya rito ni uh, Asenho. But it's still an active fight, no? Ito yung mga sa purist eh, aabangan mo talaga eh, no? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alam mo, may mangyayari at may mangyayari. Look at that right again. Oh! oh! Look at that. Exactly like yes. what we've been saying. Ito yung alam mong merong mangyayari at mangyayari. And the uh, thing na sinasabi mo, the way he scores his knockouts, just like this, bigla-biglaan. Saved by the bell, Jun Tasik, and what a knockdown scored <laughs> by Yaseno. Yes. <laughs> Lirio there telling uh, Romel Yaseno, "Wag kang ano, wag kang high blood." <laughs> Good left and right, and uh, those those punches send uh, Jun Tasik to the canvas. Alam mo, go sa tingin ko. Kaliwa, boom, boom. Yung mga suntok na yung kanina niya pa talaga tinatiming eh. Totoo. And round number five, this is scheduled for eight. Aseno in red, he is the uh, reigning WBO rental champion. That title not at stake in this fight. This is just an eight-round fight, no? And Tasik undefeated. Pero malaking threat itong si Aseno sa kanyang record, ha? Ah. He's been knocked down in this fight. This was in the fourth round towards the end of the round, actually. Jun Tasik following the instructions of his corner man, uh, wag kang dumistansya, uh, idikit mo yung ulo mo para hindi siya makasuntok. And that could be a fatal mistake on uh -oh. the part of Jun Tasik because that's simply what Romel Aseno would like to happen. He's so adept at uh, fighting inside yes. Romel Aseno. That's why he's called my little assassin. And for the first time, ah, sumasabay si uh, Tasik. Yes. That could uh, be a fatal mistake oh, for Tasik. Gusto, gusto naman niya ni Romel Aseno, but Tasik is connecting with some combinations. Uh, 
A good right there by Jun Tasik. Oh. And slowly, this is turning out to be a brawl. Combination by Asenho. Fantastic uh, for a while there, being wrestled by Romel Asenho. Asenho. Left straight by Asenho. At uh, mukhang merong konti ng uh, desperation dito on the part of Tasik. He knows that his unblemished record seriously threatened in this fight. And Robel Asenho being warned for holding. No, for hitting be behind the head. Ah, okay. I think this is already a tired Jun Tasik. Oh. Hindi na to dal sa, pu uh, sa push no, and shove no. ni Asenho. Eh. Pagod na yung Tasik. Eh. The effect of uh, yung ginagawa niyang pagtakbo kanina, eh, no? pag iwas. Yes. Oh. oh, another right. Another knockdown scored by Robel Asenho. And that's the second time na bumagsak dito si Tasik. This is the fifth round. Oh. Yeah. He got floored once in the fourth round. And now in the fifth round again. Again, time may be running out for Romel Asenho. And that's the end of round number five. This is scheduled for eight. So, kanan yung tumama, actually. Oh, oh. Just like an assassin, hindi mo alam sa manggagaling. <laughs> yeah. Yung uh, tama. Look at that right. Talagang uh, umangat yung paan ni, ano, ni Jun Tasik. Romel Asenho, he is the current uh, Oriental uh, champion in the 105 pound division. Round 6 scheduled for 8. Two knockdowns scored by Romel Asenho, both uh, towards the dying seconds of uh, the rounds. Uh, four, round and five. 4 and 5. And this is round number 6, Asenho in red, Tasik in black. Hindi kaya ni Tasik yung power ni Asenho. Oh, definitely. It's very obvious. In the, in the meantime, uh, on the other hand, rather, uh, kinakain ni Romel Asenho yung suntok ni Juntasik. Good right there by Juntasik. Well, si uh, Tasik seems to be accurate, you know? Kaya lang yung uh, mga suntok ni Asenho is forcing him talaga, you know? Good to... left. And sabog na yung ilong ni uh, Jun Tasik. Ha? Oh. Asenho being patient with his attack. He's being taught to be patient by his oh. corner man. They say it's not always a knockout, you know? And you know, sometimes, kailangan mo rin kumuha ng rounds, you know, to gain yes. more experience. Especially for Asenho and this division. A very active uh, division. Most, most of the champions here rely on their skills. Actually, isa sa pinakamalakas na mini flyweight ito si Romel Asenho. Mm -hmm. He is one uh, boxer who can actually knock you out. Look at that. Who can actually knock you out with one punch. No? And he has showed that several times already in his career. And even in this fight, twice already, he has floored Juntasik. And this time, a uh, momentary uh, halt dahil uh, yung uh, tama ron sa ilong ni uh, Jun Tasik. Sumabog yung ilong Sumabog, actually ng oh. Jun Tasik. It's a punch. It, was, it, it came from a punch. So 
action resumes. Round six. Jun Tasik in black, uh, Romel Asenho in red. Two knockdowns have been scored. One in the fourth, one in the fifth, both by Romel Asenho. And he's in total command of this fight. But it's still a very active one. Nandun pa rin, of course, yung threat ng uh, Tasik. So this will be a test din ng uh, depensa ni uh, Asenho. Right by Tasik. Good, Good left. left. Oh. By Asenho again. And it snapped back the head of Jun Tasik. And Tasik another Sabers. one. Oh, meron naman isang kaliwa. Solid shot to the body. It meron pong combination sa mukha. Pinatama ni Romel Asenho. Asenho now continues to stop. Tasik. Good left. Now, Tasiko, <laughs> lumusot yung kanya yes. ni Aseno. Yes, Aseno. And Tasiko is hurt again. Kita mo na ginatulog mo siya. Kita mo na ginatulog mo siya. Pagtulog mo, parang sunod na sunod mo siya. Slow-mo replay, yung nakalusot na kaliwa from Romel Aseno. Pumasok rin yung kaliwa nung uh, Jun Tasik. Ano? But that was a feeble uh, left actually. You know, uh, he's uh, patient in this fight but active enough no? para ma-dominate niya itong uh, laban. Yun ang kagandaan dito kay Asen. Look right again. Not to a point na nagiging boring you know, yung kanyang uh, uh -huh. style. And I think in this round they're going to get Jun Tasik. Knowing his uh, ability and the way he's been dominating this fight, Romel Asenho. This is round number seven. Round number seven, scheduled for eight. Penultimate round, Romel Asenho in red, Jun Tasik in black. Tasik is undefeated, but he's way, way uh, behind on points. He has not won a round, oh, actually. Oh, he got floored round four and five. Rounds four and five. Again, no methodical yung approach dito ni uh, Asenho. And he knows that this Good is left difficult. Again by Asenho. A difficult fight pero nagagawa niya ng solusyon. Every adjustment na ginagawa ni Tasik merong panagot itong si Asenho. Good left and rather right to the midsection. Ang ganda ng kanan na yun. Oh, Picture perfect yung kanan na yun. Tsaka the way he delivered it before, before that, you know, talagang nasilip niya muna na susuntok si Atasik. Eh. Look at that. I was trying to go to the body. Romel Asenho. He's a southpaw. Left connected by Asenho. Just waiting for the right opportunity. And hindi nagbabago, you know, yung, yung testament ng kanyang conditioning, hindi nagbabago yung kanyang uh, estilo. For the first time, umaatras yung aseno ngayon. No? Oo. Oh. And he showed, yung tasik, he showed uh, good, uh, good footwork, no? Dun sa instance na yun. Oh, percut by Jun Tasik. Referee warning Aseno for pushing. And from time to time, nagiging aggressive si uh, Jun Tasik. But the thing is, he's being dominated by Romel Asenho. Obviously, the more skillful fighter is uh, Romel Asenho. And he's throwing uh, several quality shots. He's been dominating this fight so far. And 
Tasik connecting with the right and the left. Last 10 seconds of this round. Now they're exchanging blows in the middle of the ring. That's the end of this round, round number seven. Slow more replay of the just concluded round number seven. A round which probably won by Romela Senho, my little assassin, the fighter in red. He is a defending Oriental champion in the 105 pound division. But again, that title is not at stake. And this is uh, one activity fight for him. And definitely quality activity para dito kay Romela Senho. He's having a good quality workout. But nandun parati yung uh, threat, no? Of it course, be, uh, uh, towards the end of uh, the seventh round, actually, tumama yung Jun Tasik. At uh, mabutin lang at medyo hindi kalakasan yung mga suntok na tumama. Last round. Jun Tasik in black, undefeated. Romelu Senho, the Oriental champion in the red. This is an eight-round fight, non-title at that. Ito mo talagang hindi nagbabago, Gov, yung estilo ni uh, Aseno. A uh, sign na talagang nasa magandang uh, kondisyon. Talagang mahirap lang na yes. kalaban itong si Tasik. Now they're exchanging shots in the middle of the ring. Asenho. Short right. Balik si Tasik. Oh, good right there by Jun Tasik. Oh. But oh. Asenho, he back. was able to hurt and floor Jun Tasik. And he is in serious trouble. Yes, he is in serious trouble. And I think Robert Asano will come in for the kill. Oh, oh good uppercut. Over. That's it. It's all over. Well, to with so much time remaining. And one solid punch, I think, will end this fight. He got caught with the left to the jaw the first time. Ito na. Uppercut. Now he's going for the kill, Robert Asano. Hanging on for dear life, si Jun Tasik. Wala nang ano, wala nang tuhod. One more solid blow, and that could be, be the end. So that's it. That's the third time. That's the third that's knockdown it. already oh, oh. in this round. And it's all over. It's all over. So that's an automatic TKO win for Romel Asenho. And what a way for him to end this fight. Good fight. Ladies and gentlemen, our winner by technical knockout at 2 minutes and 5 seconds in the 8th round, Roman Little Assassin Asenho. Asenho scores his uh, 15th win as a professional against two losses and his 13th uh, knockout victory. Just, just one question, Gov. What's in store? Well, What's next for we're him? We're waiting for the opportunity to, to, uh, to field him uh, in a World Championship fight. Inaantay natin yung uh, opportunity na yon. Uh, and uh, I don't know who's, who's available. Nandyan yung Donny Nietes, pero Pilipi, kapwa Pilipino. So, mukhang mm -hmm. malabo na makalaban natin yon. Uh, sa IBF, I don't know who's there. Si uh, Raul uh, Garcia, Rayito. Rayito Garcia. Oh. So we could, you know, we could work things out. You've seen another exciting performance by Romel Asenho. And in this fight, as I've said earlier, he has proven that he could fight for the whole eight rounds. Tinapos na yung laban towards the eighth, the, the last few seconds of the eighth round. Ngayong linggo po, may mga bonus bouts tayo. 
Gusto ko lang pakita sa inyo. Actually, ito mga batang ito, virtual unknown. Bago. Bagito. First time yung isa. He's fighting for the first time. His name is Gary Lumakat. No relation to the other Lumakat who uh, bowed to Jorge Arce in the U.S. Uh, this is a different Lumakat. This Lumakat has a lot of heart. Gary Lumakat is a former amateur player of uh, North Cotabato uh, amateur boxing team. He decided to turn pro. He's 19 years old. He's going up against Brix Makadag, also a new fighter. Pero tignan po niyo itong, uh, itong batang ito, itong Gary Lumakat. At tignan niyo yung kanyang power. The other fight that we will feature will be the fight between Rogelio Cañete against Mikong Kalamba. And uh, he is a uh, junior flyweight. Si uh, Rogelio Cañete naman is a flyweight. No? So, bagito itong mga batang ito. But if there's something remarkable about these two boys, it is their power. At yan ang gustong gusto ko sa isang boxing hero, power. Take a look at these two bonus bouts that we're featuring in today's Tomorrow's Champions. Introducing to you out of the blue corner, he hails from Jose Abad Santos, Davao del Sur, knocking for his first win as a professional, Harlem Briggs Mercado. His opponent is going into his first professional bout. He hails from New Antique, Milan, North Cotabato, an outstanding amateur boxer of the province of North Cotabato, fighting out of the red corner, Gary Lumaka. Our judges for this fight are judges Mario De Ramos, Ramuel Ovalo, and Bert Hill. And to act as referee, our third man in the ring, Abdul Maraja. So, uh, part of the device, uh, meron tayong uh, dalawang uh, debutants. Si na, no? Gary Lumakad, no relation to the other Lumakad. <laughs> and uh, Brix Makadong. Si Brix Makadong ay yung uh, buksingerong uh, pula ang shorts with white uh, markings. Si Gary naman uh, has uh, the red flaming trousers. Manny Pacquiao uh, signature trousers. And apparently, no, sa introduction ni uh, Kaloy ay uh, mukhang galing sa isang uh, magandang amateur program itong si uh, Gary Lumakad. Oh yes, he used to be a member of our uh, provincial amateur boxing team. And in fact, he, has still, he still has two brothers in the amateur uh, ranks. There goes the right by Gary Lumakad. Magandang uh, foundation ng uh, Gary Lumakad uh, at makikita mo naman sa forma ng uh, suntok. And uh, speaking of uh, Porma, mukhang magandang test itong si Makadong sa kanya dahil kahit pa paano, maganda kumilos. Oh yes, magaling yung uh, Makadong ha? Uh, at tumatama yung kanyang kanan. Uh, hindi pwedeng magkumpiyansa si uh, Gary dyan sapagkat nakababa yung kaliwa niya. And it's a uh, good test for him because this early ay nakikita natin na talaga nakafocus dito si uh, Gary Lumaka taking his time and uh, trying to find out, uh, find a way kung paano siya makakatama rito kay uh, Makadog. Pero tumama yung bricks doon ng kanan. Good left and right. But bricks came back. Oh. And the back and uh, missing with the left. Good crowd dito sa Magpet uh, Municipal uh, Gym. Well, uh, ito yung gift ni Mayor Efren Pinyol sa mga tao ng Magpet. Uh, libring pa boxing. And uh, this has been a tradition actually uh, every year ay uh, nagpapaboxing sa dito every time uh, this town marks its uh, foundation anniversary. And you're looking at the crowd, mga kaibigan, yung dami na yan. I've been here an hour before, ganyan na yan. Oh, okay. Ganyan na gantay. An hour before the fight and uh, mukhang uh, sulit naman yung oras nila because what we're seeing right now is uh, a good uh, action. 
from uh, two fighters who are making their professional debut. Maganda yung tinatapon na job ni uh, Gary Lumakat, but he has to follow it up. No? Uh -huh. Hindi pwedeng pa isa-isa. Well, nahihirapan din siya dahil nga makilos itong si uh, Makadog. Eh. Yeah, no? Every time na nakakatama, umaalis agad si uh, Makadog. But uh, one good thing about uh, Lumakad, apparently, no, mukhang may pasensya rin itong si uh, Lumakad. Oh! Look at that. A good That's knockdown a there by Gary Lumakad. That's a knockdown. Yes. Because uh, lumuhod. Lumuhod si uh, Makadog after... I was about to... I was saying na uh, may pasensya itong si Lumakad. And apparently, yun nga, no? Yung Tumama pasensya. yung kanan. That was a solid right straight uh, connected by uh, Lumakad. And Gary Lumakad comes in. Now he's connecting with the, some combinations. Another combination by uh, Lumakad. Oh! Ito, yung uh, patama no, that floored uh, Makadong. Ito yata. Yun. That was the right. Oh. That floored Makado. That's an automatic uh, knockdown dahil la tumama yung kanyang uh, gloves. So canvas, round number two. Round number two, Bricks Makadong versus Gary Lumakad. Lumakad scored a knockdown in the fight in the first round. At sumabog yung inong ni uh, Bricks Makadong. There goes Lumakad again, connecting with the right to the jaw of... Uh, Bricks Makadong pero may welt na yung uh, kaliwang mata ni uh, medyo singkit na kasi to Gary Lumakad kahit di ba alam ko <laughs> kung bubukol na yung mukha o uh, well he got caught with some oh another knockdown there what was that that was actually a knockdown scored by Gary Lumakad oh referee Abdul Marajan failed to count that as a knockdown but uh Briggs Makadong is in deep trouble right now. And he's hanging on. And uh, the referee, oh. the, uh, referee uh, Abdul Marajan, ang ating ring physician, si uh, Dr. Henaralao. Because hindi tumitigil yung taga sundugo mula rin sa ilong ni uh, Briggs Makadong. Pero matapang yung uh, Makadong. Ha? Matapang din yata yung doktor. Oh, hindi ah, na. Hindi na, ah, hindi na. It's all over. It's all over. Well, mukhang uh, either may nabali ron or merong uh, something. It's all over. Uh -huh. So, it's a splendid first uh, professional mm -hmm. fight victory for Gary Lumakad. Winner by a technical knockout. That was a picture perfect uh, right. Ladies and gentlemen, our winner by technical knockout at 52 seconds in round two from Yuan Tikem Lang, Gary Lumakad. Gary Lumakad scores his first professional victory with a uh, second round stoppage of Briggs Makadong of uh, Davao del Sur. Ladies and gentlemen, this is six rounds of professional boxing. And to judge this match is Judge Mario Ramos, Judge Ramuel Ovalo, and Judge Elisardo Resma. What like as referee is referee Ronnie Mondeja. Introducing to you now our fighters. He weighed in at 112 pounds going into this fight. He hails from Santa Josefa, Agusan del Sur. He has two wins. Winning both by way of knockout, no loss and no draw from the blue border, Nicardo Nico Calamba. His opponent fighting out of the red border is wearing the red trunks of Braveheart Boxing Club. He hails from Tinapawan City, North Cotabato, and comes into this fight at 112 pounds. He has a fight record of four wins, winning one by way of knockout, no loss, and no draw, Rogelio Caniete. Si 
six rounds. Bawal sumuntok below the belt, ingat sa ulo, no? First and last round lang seeking offense. Good luck. Flyweight division, Rahelio Cañete from the Braveheart Stable against Nikong Kalamba from Santa Josefa, Agusan del Sur. Masyadong nakakatakot yung record ng Kalamba. Two wins, both by knockouts. And mukhang maganda nga sumuntok. Oo, kaliwete pa. Ito si Kalamba. He goes to the midsection of Cañete. This is a brawl. This is going to be a brawl. And Cañete is not going to back off. Mukhang kaliwa yung pamatay nitong si uh, Kalamba. Uh, yes. Kaliwa ito yung Kalamba. Magandang sumuntok, ha? Actually, meron din dukot sa katawan nitong si uh, Kalamba. Uh, this early, si Kanyete natikman na yung, uh, kumbaga, lagkit ng mga suntok ni Kalamba. But he's fighting back. That was a good uppercut by Kalamba. A good right there by Kanyete. Now, Cañete comes back with several combinations. Oh, oh good right. right. Yes. That right. was that is a solid right. Gandang patama na yun ni Cañete. Hindi na binitawan, eh, no? And, And one, Calamba is still hurt. But Calamba is fighting back. Several lefts thrown by Calamba. Oh, another, another knockdown scored by uh, Cañete. And those shots came after Calamba's attacks. Masyadong ina-underestimate ni Calamba yung uh, kabataan ni Cañete and power ni Cañete actually. Cañete comes back and Calamba is hurt again. He goes down that's again. It. It's all over. That's it. It's all over. That's it. It's all over. Three knockdowns scored by uh, the young Rogelio Cañete and Nikong Calamba, the knockout puncher from Agusan del Sur, Ala. is out of the fight. Alam mo, ang ganda panuuro ni Lin Oli noon, uh, si Director Dax. <laughs> Awa ko kung pwede nating uh, i-analyze uli yung laban na yun. No? Ladies and uh, gentlemen, naman, our winner for this bout by technical knockout at 1 minute and 52 seconds in the first round, Rogelio Rogelio Cañete scores his fifth professional victory via TKO in the first round. Well, it was a short, should I say, day, no? Dahil hindi naman tayo gabi ngayon, no? Ito, panoorin natin yung ano, yung ito yung pangalawang... Solid yun. Pangalawang knockdown actually ito, no? Well, kung record ang titignan, no? Hindi mo napanood itong laban ito, baka sabihin mo one-sider or something to that effect, no? Pero grabe yung ano, grabe yung... Balance nung laban na to. It's just that talagang inabot lang ito inabot. si Kalamba. Inabot. It was a nip and tuck affair actually. No? Konti lang yung nakita nating uh, laban na to. No? But uh, could go either way actually. Uh, ito yata yung last na knockdown. Yes, that's the last knockdown. Alright, you've seen them. Romel Asenho against uh, Jun Tasik. Rogelio Cañete against uh, Mikong Kalamba. And Gary Lumakat against uh, Bricks Makadag. Marami po po tayo mga batang bagong-bago. In a few weeks from now, you will see a young boy from Sambuanga del Sur. No? His name, Caver Magusara. Tall, 5'7". Timbang, bantamweight. Edad, 16 years old. And he's turning pro. We watch out for these boys. We have a lot of talents in tomorrow's champions. Because that's precisely what we are here for. Discover tomorrow's champions. Thank you very much. I'm Manny Pignol.